Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay 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 frosty. What's going on, everybody? It's Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. Any second now, everyone's going to be filing in over here as it's beginning to happen as we speak. It is resetting. Hopefully, knock on wood, everything will be fine, actually, in terms of the chat not freezing up. But great to see everybody here. Let's see who we've got here in the chat as we're waiting for people to file in. It's great to see you guys all here. We're about a little over a week away from July 4th. Crazy. Next week, I think, is July 2nd on Friday. Uh, crazy craziness there. Give me that thumbs up here in the chat. Let me know you guys can hear me okay and see me okay. And then uh, we'll get started in just a few minutes. Starting off with the very top over here. It looks like we've got Sammy, our Wendy's buddy. How, how you doing, Sammy? Thanks so much for jumping on. A very early happy birthday, 90 days in advance <laughs> to you. Uh, we got Tony A in the house effect as well. It's great to see you on here. We've got Israel. We've got Erna 785, our 80s queen without a doubt. <laughs> all good, all good. Drew's Food Reviews as well. Great to see you on here. Nishino, what's going on, my friend? Great to see you as well. I got to catch your new thighs promo or the, the video that you put together, I should say, for the review. See what you thought of those uh, crunchy thighs over at Thigh Stop, a.k.a. Wing Stop, a.k.a. Thigh Stop, whatever they want to call it. It's pretty banging stuff. Uh, let's see here. Gerard, thanks so much for jumping on. We got Max in effect as well. Michael Domer, Sonic, great to see you guys on here. Johnny. It's your favorite <laughs> Van Johnny. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Sabas, how are you this evening? Looking forward to the end of the week. Looking forward to this end of the week show. Thank you. I appreciate you being here right now. And like I always say, you guys have choices when it comes to content here on YouTube. So you already know what it is. But great to see everybody on here right now. Let's see here. We have got... It's catching up here. Here we go. All right, here we go. It's jumping back over here. Theme Park Fanatic. Howdy. What's going on? Ben Nguyen. Stream is a little frozen to me. Hopefully it's okay. I did some uh, testing of my connection. Everything is super fast. Everything's looking good, at least on my end. Hopefully if this, if there is any issues, knock on wood, when the replay comes out, you should actually see it um, as it should be. But we got the thumbs up. Everything is looking all right. We're starting frosty, according to Sonic. Start frosty. <laughs> Glad I didn't mess up the intro. Sometimes I do that because when I do this live naturally, it is what it is. So some people complaining about the lagginess. Video is okay now. Okay, we'll see what happens as we go. You know, naturally there's uh, things in the system. Who knows? Um, just because you have the fastest internet out there doesn't mean the rest of the world is, you know, not doing what it needs to do, which bogs things down. But let's just, we'll move on from it. Let's just move on from it. Jackie Hero Food Review is another awesome food reviewer in the community. Thanks so much for jumping on, Jackie. Hey. Greetings and salutations to you up in Canada over there. Drew says he checked out Thigh Stop too. Cool. Very nice. I had a lot of fun checking that out. Really, really tasty stuff. Had a lot of fun putting that video together. Um, definitely love the thumbnail on that one. I had a blast making those. I always have a blast putting my content together. It's so much fun to do. I always think about what's going to be the most eye-catching, the most grabbing, and I, I really have so much fun putting it together. Uh, Steven Kavarubias, of course I remember you, my friend. Great to see you. Man, it's been a minute. Great to see you on here, brother. Hope you're doing well. Do you still work for Apple? Kind of curious, since we're, uh, we'll keep it, we'll keep it vague on the stream, naturally. But great to see you on here, Steven. Great, 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 great. Doing okay. And yes, of course, I remember from those Sprint days back in the day. For those of you who don't know, I used to work for Sprint for about 17 and a half years prior to, like, 2014, I think it was. Um, so yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a minute, but... Really awesome to see a lot of people that I haven't seen or heard from in a while. It, it tends to pop in every so often. So welcome, 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 one and all. Great to see you guys. Shawnee Mac, Constance Cherry in effect as well. Thanks so much for jumping on. Appreciate you. Shawnee Mac, your viewers demand. <laughs> there you go. You already know what it is. Very nice. Sonic Jet, what are we saying here? When are the fried chicken vaccine wars going to start? Burger King, KFC, Popeyes are going to make an amazing ch chicken sandwich. You know, well, actually, I think Mickey D's is giving out free food if you actually get vaccinated, which is cool. I was reading something online about that. That's crazy. That's craziness right now. So it is what it is. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. PlayStation Gaming Extreme is thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. Ready to see what it is. It's going to be something I think you may know if you've been watching my stream the last uh, couple of weeks anyway. <laughs> We're going to wait for just a little bit, though, before we get it started here. We'll answer some questions. Have a good time. Michael, sorry I missed you last week. I was getting ready to go help my parents move from Chicago to Tennessee. Not to worry. Michael, I appreciate being here. Naturally, like I always say again, you guys all have choices. But if you happen to miss a stream, there is always the replay available on the next day. So you can uh, check out the fun that you could have partaken in that night previous. But at least you have it. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time the day after on Saturday. 
Um, I'm actually probably going to be going to the beach tomorrow, so this will go live um, on Saturday at noon. So while I'm doing my thing over there, you'll have uh, this to relive at the same time. Johnny waited 20 minutes for a Popeye's chicken sandwich and it was tasty. Very nice. I remember those days when they were really getting crazy because of the popularity in the very beginning with the wars when they first began a couple of years ago. Um, people are in line for hours waiting for chicken sandwiches. So it's always worth the wait. I think you know that, right? It's always worth the wait. Uh, let's see. Kyle Broussard. How you doing, my friend? Three days ago, got my first dose of Pfizer vaccine. Very nice. And then the, on, on Tuesday, the 13th, we'll be getting the second. Very cool. Very cool. I got my second on April 29th, actually. And I have my card, and I also have the digital version here in California. We have a digital portal that you can actually download a QRB code that's on there and keep that on your phone if you ever need to have it scanned quickly. Um, that's always a cool thing. Jackie, yes, I've been hearing that Canada is finally getting the Grand Mac, or the Grand Big Mac, as they call it there. But the question is, is it the fresh beef? Because that is the only way that I will ever come back to that again. And I think that's what they should do is do the Grand Mac with the fresh beef situation over at Mickey D's because that's how they do it with the Quarter Pounders. Um, we'll have to see what happens there. Tony A says the stream is lagging a little bit at times. Hopefully not. <laughs> like I said, I'm connected up over here pretty well. It could be a YouTube thing. I'm not sure. Um, but then again, it's live. Who knows what's going to happen here? I'm hoping that the replay will be better for you guys. If it continues on, we'll see how this goes. Uh, but we'll just move on with it here. But so has anyone heard about this UFO report that came out today? Anybody have anything they want to share and what they think about that? Obviously, it was pretty underwhelming, which I had a feeling it was going to be because they're not going to come right out and say too much that we probably didn't know already um, because all the juicy stuff is in a separate report to the government, naturally. So whatever they kind of are drip feeding to the public now from this report, which is only, I think, about nine pages out of this huge thing. Uh, very interesting to see what's going to happen with that. Sammy is watching this with your kitten. Cool, cool. I hope the kitten is enjoying this. <laughs> we're going to get started officially in a second over here uh, as we're going down the line. No fresh beef over for Jackie. Okay, all right, that's that's a no bueno situation. They did the same version for us over here, Jackie, the, a couple of times that it's been out here in the U.S. I'm glad you guys finally have it. To my understanding, that's pretty much how the Big Mac should have been since the beginning anyway. It was a larger sandwich. Um, it's a smaller burger now, um, which is ridiculous. And it's more bread and sauce than anything else with like two little silver dollar coins of beef. Um, so I've never really been a super fan of the Big Mac, but at the same time, you know, it is what it is. Johnny, what is the best vaccine? Well, all of them naturally. Uh, for me personally, I just, I Pfizer is what I got. It could have been Moderna. It could have been um, the Johnson & Johnson one, I think, which is a one-shot thing. Um, but Pfizer and Moderna seems to be like the main two um, out there right now. So I couldn't say what's the best because like I said, they're all designed to do the same exact thing. Um, but I like personally for me having the Pfizer, uh, Pfizer variant of it there. All right. So this is a Wendy's from Sammy. Speaking of which, actually, I probably should have brought over the, uh, the can actually, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm not sure. You guys probably have seen that review, uh, the spicy chicken Pringles, uh, in there, which actually came out. And I did that actually last week, which I was so glad to finally find two canisters of it. Um, I always get at least two because naturally if with a promo flavor like that, I wanted to match it up with the Baconator uh, variant actually that I have on the shelf over back behind me over here. Um, but good times. Big Mac for the like small Mac from Sammy. Actually, you already know. <laughs> Ross is watching this with your dog, Lucy the Pug. Nice. Give Lucy a scratch for me. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm a huge animal lover. That's awesome. Sonic doesn't believe in UFOs. I think there's enough strangeness on this planet. Exactly. And there could be very well someone, some UFOs deep down in the ocean. Who knows, actually? Saber fam, what it do? What it be? What it do? Great to see you on here. Thanks so much for jumping on. There is other life in our galaxy and in our universe, Aaron. I believe that. I definitely believe that. Now, whether we eventually see something officially um, that makes itself known, we actually probably already have, but we'll see what happens as time goes by. Let's see here. Constance Sherry, thanks so much for jumping on. Thank you for uh, for being on here right now. Jackie's going for the second vaccine shot tomorrow. Nervous as my boyfriend didn't feel great after his. Hour. Okay, Jackie, just so you know, I'm not going to lie because if you watched any of my previous streams, um, the second shot for me was a little rougher compared to the first. Um, and like I always say, I look back on that strawberry watermelon um, review on my channel where I was not feeling well that day. And you can see it <laughs> all throughout that review. Um, but I tried to, I was had to get something to get myself out of the mode that I was thinking in because I was just nervous about stuff, not to get you psyched up or anything, but just be prepared to try and sleep as much as you possibly can after that. Cause it's a little bit of a rough, uh, rough thing. Um, outside of like little shot in the arm, you know, of course. 
Uh, theme Park Fanatic, I'm going to go for a walk while watching you. Nice, nice. Make sure you keep those headphones on, one in the ear, so you can watch around you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Sammy, the Black Bean Burger from Wendy's is coming, and I tried it early access. It's going to sell like hotcakes. Cool. I'm very uh, interested to try that, naturally. And, of course, with plant-based and all the additional stuff that's out there, I segue into the latest review that I just put out today, obviously, on the plant-based Naked Chalupa. Um, I had a lot of fun filming that earlier this week, and I got to say, very, very tasty um, and what that is. And now that I think about it, and somebody brought this to my attention, actually, it was one of the comments that asked me, um, which do I prefer, the KFC Beyond Nuggets or this? And honestly, now that I think about it, it tasted pretty much the exact same thing, which was like chicken. But Yum Brands, who owns KFC and Taco Bell, is working with Beyond Meat. So it doesn't surprise me um, that that's kind of what I'm thinking that it is, because now that I think about it, it really was very reminiscent of that. But I had a lot of fun putting that video together. It's always a blast to do. And I love doing all the test market stuff, actually, as any food reviewer would in the area where they live. If you happen to have that stuff there, those are kind of like the little crown jewels, the fun ones to have in the content playlist that will always be there now, So, which is really, really a cool thing. So if you guys haven't seen that one just yet, don't let the good looks of what that one is fool you. It may look like a naked chicken chalupa, but does it taste like a naked chicken chalupa? Um, I'll let you check out the uh, the video on that, and you can let me know in the comments uh, of that video, of course. Uh, let's see. Erno, would you recommend one dose vaccine instead if it's... No, it doesn't. I wouldn't... It's really a personal preference, Erno. For me, personally, I think in terms of efficacy, um, Johnson & Johnson, I think, is a little bit behind Moderna or Pfizer. Um, but at the same time, they're all three are effective. So... Um, I didn't mind doing the two shot thing, but naturally doing the one and getting out of the way may work for, for some people. That's why it's designed that way, I guess. It's okay. Um, but just make sure you get one. <laughs> just make sure that you get one. There's a new Delta variant. This is actually starting to spread across California now, and that's becoming the main thing. And that's kind of the thing that I'm concerned about. So uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how this goes, but definitely make sure that you're you're good with it. Either way, just get one. Sonic Jet, the day the UFOs land on the planet Earth and meet our world leaders, the same day McDonald's will have all-day lunch. <laughs> Don't you mean all-day breakfast? They already have all-day lunch. And dinner, too. Sammy, KFC doesn't have nuggets. Well, not the Beyond ones anymore. Uh, that would be nice if they brought those back. All right, popcorn chicken. Yes, it's KFC that's in there. Let's see, Kyle. When I had my dose injected in my right arm, I was in pain. Move it in a second, it will be injected in the left arm, so it's right-handed when I write. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, preferred to be on the light, the side that you don't write with for that reason, just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. Randy Molina, how you doing? Thanks so much for jumping on. Sammy says, today at a restaurant, I did a very something very embarrassing. So the waitress asked me, what drink should I get for you? I already had baked cod in my mind, and I said, baked cod for drinks. Okay. That's seriously thinking about something else at the same time, Sammy. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, too much, too much. Larry Nguyen, thanks so much for jumping on. Hello, hello. Ring King, Kansas City. For anyone wondering, the shots don't hurt. I hated them, so I barely felt a thing. Yeah, I, I really didn't feel it going in at all. That's the thing about, you know, they, the way that they do it and where they do it. You really don't feel it. Um, but naturally, the next day you will, and later on in the day, you may begin to kind of feel a little sluggish from it there. But it is what it is. It is what it is. But definitely make sure it is on the side that you do not write with for obvious reasons. Absolutely. Johnny, have you considered reviewing? No. <laughs> this is a family show. This is a family show. Um, but not to say I didn't think about it. Seriously. Uh, let's see. Also off for the week, paid staycation. Nice, Jackie. That's awesome. That's awesome. Those are always good. Those are always good. Speaking of which, actually, shortly before this whole thing began uh, this week, uh, my power steering pump in my car kind of went dodo or doo doo, I should say. <laughs> it went the way of the dodo. Um, so I actually am having that taken care of here in the next few days. So thankfully, I have my content filmed and things that I can just work on um, while that's happening there, of course. So lots of, uh, you know, things happen for a reason, timing, you know, at the same time as well. But the goal is to not have any interruption of any type throughout the time. And I think with the exception of yesterday, um, I pretty much had a piece of content from Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, nothing, yesterday, and then today, and then you'll have this replay tomorrow um, as well. So craziness. You guys have a lot, a lot of good stuff to look forward to here on the channel. And speaking of which, since we're on the topic of it, or at least I kind of segue in here real quick. Let's see here. So obviously, aside from, whatchamacallit, hang on one second here. 
the Wendy's spicy Pringles, spicy chicken Pringles, which actually had a pretty nice uh, feeling of uh, being reminiscent of their chicken sandwich, believe it or not, more of like a chicken broth flavor with a little bit of heat, which I thought was uh, was pretty cool. I was pretty surprised um, at the quality of that. And honestly, I thought it was so much better than the Baconator variant uh, of it as well. So I really, really liked the idea of um, of that personally. I thought it was really good. And let's see here. Phone is freaking out on me. Okay, here we go. So good time. So the BLT Ranch hand-breaded chicken sandwich from Carl's Jr. You guys already know. That's like the fourth, fourth variation of their hand-breaded chicken, which was actually a lot of fun to check out. But Carl's here on the West Coast is ridiculous in terms of pricing. Um, not a good situation with that there. But I do like the quality of the chicken. I really like the quality of the chicken there. Um, Chili's chicken sandwich was from the week prior to that. And then actually the Wendy's uh, spicy chicken sandwich Pringles. Bone and thighs from Wingstop. And of course the naked, uh, the plant-based naked chalupa uh, from today as well. Ed Keaton jumping in with the Super Chat donation. Ed, thank you. Thank you so much there. Almost forgot in the very beginning, should you guys wish to contribute to the channel, you've got the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat box. Uh, you've also got in the, uh, the description below PayPal links, all that good stuff there. You guys are official sponsors of the channel. I appreciate that. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, of course. Um, and definitely um, get your name into the credits, so to speak, at the very bottom when the replay goes live. I appreciate you guys. You already, you already know um, everything that you guys put towards the channel always goes right back into it there. I'm pumping out that content and to create it as well. Larry Nguyen, will you go see the new Fast and Furious movie? I definitely want to see it, but I'm not ready to hit a theater just yet, even though vaccination is fine. I'm still not quite at that point yet. And yes, Ring King, Kansas City. I wish Little Caesar would bring back the loaded crazy bread bites. I had so much fun. Uh, with all of that stuff. Believe me, Little Caesars is just banging with their cheesy goodness. It really is. Especially that pepperoni stuffed crust. Um, pretty, pretty awesome. Not sure where E. Ricard and Annette is, actually. Ed Keaton's in the house, though, as you can see. Greetings and salutations. Also to Lido, too. Thanks so much for jumping on. Have you seen it? Taco Bell finally brought their double, triple crunch wrap. I just saw that. They're calling it the Grande Crunch Wrap. <laughs> I like triple double as a name. Uh, personally there. But yes, that, that's uh, something that I've tried a few times, actually. Uh, Polo, you try the Wingstop new chicken thighs. Take a look at the most recent content. Actually came out yesterday, day before yesterday, for the chicken thighs, actually. Um, a lot of fun putting that together. The bone-in variant is the way to go easily, um, unless you like glorified nuggets. You know, it is what it is. So, let's see here. Ben, have you... Uh, has everyone tried the chili burrito from Taco Bell that was delicious and spicy? You can make your own self-follow instructions on YouTube. You can create just about anything at Taco Bell, pretty much it's out there. I've got two secret menu items, the Superman burrito and the Incredible Hulk burrito, which of course they have some fun effects and all that stuff there for comic characters. Um, but you can make a lot of really awesome, tasty stuff over at Taco Bell, uh, without a doubt. So if you haven't seen those reviews, of course, the Taco Bell playlist here on the channel some good stuff there those are official secret menu items though so when you see those put together you can actually have that done which is pretty awesome uh constance just got off a of vacation very nice akash how you doing gandal i think it is nice to see you on here thanks so much for jumping on great to see everybody so before we jump into the uh review and just a few here here comes another masters of the universe masters of the universe update for you as the collection continues to grow, you guys all know I am a fan of E-Man and the Masters of the Universe ever since I was a kid. And since they're re-releasing these and doing newer updated things, this one is Evil Lynn, Evil Warrior Goddess, Retro Play, all that good stuff. And essentially, it's kind of like the original, just a little bit of a repaint. Give you some fun stuff to look at here. Take a look. With dark magic at her disposal, Evelyn's powers make her one of Eternia's greatest threats. And the artwork looks really nice. You see Trapjaw, Merman, Triclops, Stinkor right over there as well. All the classics giving you another quickie look at these. And obviously Faker, he's on pre-order as well. All this stuff was done way in advance. Fisto, all that in there, really, really slick. Wanted to give you a fast look. If you guys are into this, naturally the Revelation series is going to be coming on. For Netflix, very excited. So this one here looking pretty cool, as you can see. A little bit of a repaint, not necessarily as green as she was previous. So this is kind of a redo, but just something else kind of fun to take a look at. You may or may not see another one of these later in the stream. We'll just uh, leave it at that for now. Yes, I remember Buzz Off Tiffany Shields. Yes, absolutely. That was the uh, the B character with little wings in the back. And, you know, naturally, of course, <laughs> they had names in there as well, too. Really, really good stuff in there. Let's see here. 
Max, when I've tried fried chicken, I'm only into the big piece of drumsticks, not into thighs. You know what? The ones at, uh, at Wingstop, actually, which, ironically, just to show you guys, I actually have this up on my, uh, right in front of my desk here. This was actually on the bag, these stickers on here. So they have their safety stickers that they put on the bags, and they slap the thigh stop sticker on here as well. And I had a lot of fun checking these out. And I got to say, dipping those thighs into the ranch sauce was pretty amazing. Pretty amazing indeed. I just stick that up there real fast. Uh, let's see here. Ring King. Good night, everyone. Stay frosty. Thanks so much for jumping on. Maureen Descatado. Thanks so much for jumping on as well. Love Pepsi Mango. Pepsi Diet Mango. Pepsi Blue from Walmart. Still haven't seen those. Still haven't seen those. I know. I'm kind of late to the game with uh, with those. I'd love to try them, but like I said, I can't. They just We just don't do well with certain snacks on this side of the, the, the coast. And by the time they do come out here, it's already long gone and nobody cares anymore. Theme Park Fanatic. I'm from Detroit, so I like deep dish pizza from Little Caesars. You know what? Earlier this week, I went to Little Caesars and got the lunch special, which I do every once in a, every like month and a half or so, give or take. And I got up straight cheese, no pepperoni, um, and it was delish. Just delish. I had that in the park with a drink, and it was really, really nice to just relax and just go in on some deep dish cheese pizza. Uh, really good situation. And as you guys probably know, I think it was deep dish pizza day a couple of days ago on the 23rd, I think it was. Um, Freddy Foodie King, make sure you jump on over his, to his channel. He had like a quick PSA on putting that out there. And actually you can get a whole deep dish pizza, either cheese or pepperoni for six bucks. So Freddy, if you're watching right now, I'm trying to do one, do you want a salad right now? Uh, definitely take a look at that there. Of course, it's just taking a look at what the pizza is. It's a quickie thing, but pretty good. Johnny, why didn't you get Skeletor? I have Skeletor actually. <laughs> He's in a previous video. I show these as I get them. And yes, Sonic, I remember G.I. Joe, Mask, Cobra Commander, Voltron, GoBots. I had a little bit of all of those when I was a kid, I remember. Good times. Sammy, I got the best thing a couple of days ago. Ordered a three-piece thigh from KFC and then had an extra $20 fill-up and got you got for free. Very nice. Very nice. Tony, have you checked the value of the older figures that you have? I have, actually. For a lot of the ones I have, my Arkham City figures that I had like that were up above over here as they're being migrated into uh, Masters of the Universe. Um, this is a pretty decent value for a lot of them, to be honest. So I know I may or may not part with some, uh, naturally with a lot of these car repairs and things that I have coming up, it's probably in my best interest to do that. Um, but of course we'll have to see what happens, uh, with it. Uh, let's see here. The Lost Savant. Man, I feel young in this chat with my Ninja Turtles gear here. And then no worries, no worries. Age is but a number. This is what I try and tell myself. And I know I have these conversations with Mama Peeps. I know you're watching right now, Mama Peeps. Hello, hello. Big hugs to the moms. Um, but she always says I'm like a man child. <laughs> I'm like a big kid at the same time. Robert H., Super Chat Donation as well. Jumping in over here. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very cool. It's not coming up on this side here, but it is registering. There we go. It just popped in right there with the chicken. The first bump right there. I appreciate that, Robert. Thank you. Thank you so much. One of my patrons as well. I appreciate you greatly. That's awesome. So you guys are listed down below. Right now, officially in. Jackie, age is just a number. The older that we get, the more that's becoming more and more of uh, the thing. It's, you you want to spend time with the people that matter. And uh, you want to just try and take care of yourself as much as possible, naturally. Um, and just try and stay as healthy as possible. So it's a good way to look at it there. I'm always going to be wearing, like, you know, pop culture shirts, things like that forever, I have a feeling. So... Um, whether it's, you know, He-Man stuff or whatever, it's just all like kind of reliving my childhood, so to speak. Um, even though I'm a lot older <laughs> at the same time, it's more socially acceptable now, I think, because of pop culture and the way things are for a lot of these things compared to say maybe what it was when I was a kid in the eighties, you know, like that, it was a little bit more of a hardcore type of thing, you know, the whole geekdom, so to speak. Johnny collects Power Rangers when he was a kid. Nice, I remember. I never got into Power Rangers. The movies, uh, the movie, the TV show wasn't too bad. And actually, the recent movie wasn't bad either. Um, the reboot, so to speak. Uh, Johnny, I would donate my last dollar to this channel. Thank you. I appreciate that. But if you're down to your single dollar, please use that for food or, or drink. <laughs> I appreciate you, though. I appreciate you, though. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Drew stopped counting at 30. Very nice. Scotty, I had the old Moti figures as a kid. Yeah, a lot of us did. And, and some of my stuff is way packed in storage um, elsewhere, like Castle Grayskull and a few other things. I have a lot of that stuff from, from much younger. Uh, see there. 
Packy, what's your favorite sauce flavor from Buffalo Wild Wings? Uh, you know what? I always come back to ranch. It's my mainstay. I don't go for any of the crazy stuff. Occasionally, if I would do some reviews, which I haven't done from Buffalo Wild Wings in a long time. Um, but ranch is always my go-to. And dipping those the crispy thighs from Wingstop or Thigh Stop uh, was an amazing situation. So I got to tell you, I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, let's see. Tiffany, He-Man and She-Ra will always be cool. Absolutely. I can't wait for the, the new show on Netflix coming in July and as well as the movie, um, hopefully about another year or so. Um, I'm excited to uh, finally get back to it. I want to see a live action Battle Cat, a live action Panthor. Um, I really want to see some some fun stuff there. And I think it's the 35th, 35th or 40th anniversary, actually 40th anniversary, I believe, uh, next year uh, for He-Man, believe it or not. It came out in 1982. That's crazy to think about, 1982. But yeah, craziness. Jackie says she still loves Looney Tunes and Disney, except Marvel loving Loki so far. Yes, you know, I, I enjoyed it. The third episode I watched, um, a little slow. I mean, it was a little so-so and the action was cool, but they really didn't, you know, progress the story further along enough um, compared to the first two there. But naturally, there's going to be a little bit of a lull and then the next season or the next episode should be pretty solid. Um, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen for that one. They're definitely loving it uh, for sure. Right back at you, Johnny. Right back at you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Drew thinks we're getting into Nutter Butter time. <laughs> yes, my shirt says 1980s. This is actually a Camp Crystal Lake shirt I got a while back uh, from someone that I used to know. Yeah, good times. Good times. Let's see. Do you know the ranch is my dipping sauce as well? Yes, Kyle. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. KJ38, when UFO lands and are asked to speak... To our moderator who would you suggest <laughs> wow you know what i don't know but you know what i was kind of telling my mom actually earlier that if i ever was like abducted by aliens my my alien name would be calgon as in calgon take me away for you old timers watching right now so i would love to be uh, a moderator or try and help communicate and kind of be the go between another civilization and our planet that would be kind of cool <laughs> I can get all radio voice on them, you know, so to speak there. Maybe it's just the tones that may lull them into submission to be not agitated with us, right? Just to be a little bit more docile and treat us normal. <laughs> if you guys think that's a good idea, give me a thumbs up or give me an alien here in the chat. See who is paying attention to that. We'll see what happens. Have you seen it? Definitely excited for Venom. Let there be carnage. Absolutely. Curious to see what Woody Harrelson is going to do with Cletus Cassidy. That should be interesting to see what happens. Uh, let's see. Nishino, do you watch Japanese animes? You know, back in the day, uh, Robotech, actually, I really enjoyed. And a lot of stuff that was converted over to the U.S. I haven't seen anything that's subtitled Ghost in the Shell. Certain things like, you know, that I really enjoyed then. That movie was whack, by the way. Uh, but I definitely like, um, I'm definitely a fan. Definitely a fan. There we go. We got Aliens. <laughs> Annette Cervantes, hey, thanks so much for jumping in. Very cool. Do you think aliens have access to the internet? Maybe they are the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're actually us, but millions of years in the future coming back to visit us. That's what a lot of people think that it is. And that's kind of crazy to think about because the way time and space bend, you know, basically bending from point A to B, instead of traveling millions of miles, they're able to bend time and go wherever they need to quickly. Um, that'd be kind of crazy to think about. That's why some look a lot more humanoid because that's the evolution millions of years into the future, which is scary to me to think about when you think about that. It's kind of crazy. But Annette, no worries. No worries. Not. I'm glad that you're here right now. Welcome one and all. About another minute, we're going to jump into this review real quick. I know you guys are waiting for with bated breath. What is this going to be? I mentioned this recently, so hopefully it's not going to be too much of a, a letdown for you. But I think it'll be interesting because I can't wait to try it. Yes, Jackie, I'm looking forward to Ghostbusters Afterlife as well. I'm excited for that. Everything. Oh, speaking of which, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me that at least most of you here in the chat has seen the new Halloween Kills trailer. Please tell me you guys have watched at least that, not, maybe once, twice, three or four times. You know I'm a fan of Michael Myers. That's my all-time favorite right there. And I was blown away by what I saw in that trailer. It's like mob rule, insane. Haddonfield is getting crazy after what happened in the last movie. I can't wait. Um, It looks visceral. It looks pretty intense. And I can't wait. Absolutely cannot wait. Erna. Hello, to Mr. Super Chat. I apologize greatly here. I apologize greatly. Shout outs to Ernest785 and of course again to Robert H and Ed Keaton. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for jumping on and for donating to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You already know my heart's in the right place. And I'm glad that I have this down over here as well too because when I start talking about stuff and I'm trying to manage two different chats from what I'm seeing here, 
um it gets a little crazy but shout outs to earn 785 i appreciate you thank you thank you thank you all right max has been to soup plantation and fuddruckers they closed soup plantation by us ed keaton missed the trailer i saw the trailer for halloween kills last night from dom's world cool it looks very intense anthony michael hall is playing uh timothy doyle or tim doyle a little kid from the first movie technically all right hold on jumping in there there we go erna What's the number one 80s song started with the jitterbug? Uh, wham. <laughs> that's what that is. The jitterbug. That's from wham. That's definitely wham. <laughs> ben, shout outs to you from Southern Cali over here. Love from Australia. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally found the alien. Tony, you found it in there. Thank you. I appreciate that. I should have said to keep that emoji tab open on your computer or separately on a different browser so you guys can access these things quickly if you need to. Sonic has seen the new Fast and Furious trailer. Vin Diesel is great. Absolutely. These, this, I think it's one more movie after this one, and I think they're ending it because at this point, I think what else could they possibly do, right? Could have, What else could they possibly do? Drew says, see us for cookie. The weed is heat in 896. How's it going? Peep this out. Nick, thanks so much. It's going well. I appreciate you being here right now. Guys, we have, going up this way, 62 amazing peeps in the house right now. I think it's time to get ready for this review real quick. If you guys are ready to see the review, give me a fire emoji in the chat. Give me a fire emoji here in the chat so I know that we're all, uh, we're all in there. Yes, Ed, Tommy Doyle. Did I say Tim Doyle? Timothy Doyle. Yeah, I said Timothy Doyle. Tommy Doyle, correct. You are correct. I should know my lore. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to that uh let's see wake me up before you go go 1984 that's wham we got fire emojis all in effect here right now all right guys i am very curious about this because i mentioned this last week actually um and i saw this and i was just like okay this is going to be something that i think i want to try in the stream um because i think it'd be interesting and these things usually are because we usually do these types of things on the stream here real quick oh uh, my chat is jumping up crazy drew thinks it's pepper puffs you would think it's Pepper Puffs. I wish I can still find those, uh, Drew, to be honest. It's definitely not that. Ben Nguyen, Area 51 is so mysterious. Even I thought Tony Stark from Marvel could see an alien in there. Oh, it's too much. Too much. Dom, I don't know if this is true, but I heard Fast and the Furious and Jurassic Park are making a movie together. Please say no. Technically, even dinosaurs are actually in America now, according to uh, the Dominion movie coming out next summer. Um, but I'd, that's, that's one franchise I don't want to see a crossover with. <laughs> Who knows? But then again, it could be cool, right? We'll have to see what happens here right now. All right, guys, let's get into this review. Try and hold off on any questions. I'll try and monitor the chat as much as possible. I don't think it's going to be a super fast review, um, but it's going to be something that's going to be interesting to check out. So let's see here. All right, I'm caught up towards the bottom. And I'm right. I'm going to keep it locked right over here. Okay, guys, this is something that I said I saw last week and I wanted to get, but I had to take care of some of the other reviews that you saw from last week, naturally. And this is something that I'm very curious about because this is probably one of the most unique variations of flavors using a name brand chip from Cheetos. And it is Mexican street corn. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is actually very, very popular here. Basically, it is corn that's rolled in either mayo or some type of cheese of some type there. Usually they put flaming hot on the outside. There's some seasoning. Um, it's like mayo, mayo-based. I mean, it's creamy. It, it's okay, naturally, for what this is. But these are really cool to get at, like, the fairs. And you can see right over there, they have it blocked here with all the writing. But it looks interesting. It looks interesting. But at the same time, it's Cheetos. So I'm expecting there to be some cheesy flavor uh, with this as well, too. So we'll have to see. Take a look at the very back. If you want to pause that for the uh, the nutritional facts, 160 calories, 21 pieces. So it looks like there's about 3.5 servings in here. So well over 60 plus pieces uh, in here, which is kind of cool. Fat 10 grams, carbo is 15, all the usuals right now. But again, I'm very curious to see the flavor on this. And of course, we've got our boy Chester Cheetah. Take a look at the very bottom. It looks like we've got some lime action. I'm assuming there's going to be a little of that in there, a little bit of creaminess. This should be interesting um, at the same time. Drew has tried this. He says that they're in there. You look, these are my favorite, better than the cup of corn. Yes, you know what? That actually, I agree. I don't really go for street corn too often um, because I'm not really mayo into that. And there's a lot of the creaminess that's on that, which is not really like my thing. I've tried it, but it's not really my thing. So with that, you guys are going to get the first look. I am not looking inside the bag at all until right now. And as expected, it is not looking like a regular Cheeto with the exception of the shape. 
Oh, that's an interesting smell. I am getting hints of lime, though. I am definitely getting hints of lime. So let me take one of these out for you. So you guys can see it is your standard Cheeto. <laughs> this is probably not going to focus very well. There we go. You can kind of see the dusting on there. Very similar to, I guess, uh, what you would find on street corn. At the same time, it's a standard Cheeto shape. Let's give this a shot, guys. The new Mexican street corn Cheetos. Here we go. Lime. Corn flavor. It's kind of tartness to it. It's got a tartness to it. A little bit of heat. Just a little bit. This one here says... Tangy, spicy, and cheesy. All the elote flavors in one. This is actually pretty good. I am pretty impressed. It's more cheesy than anything else. Which is good because it's a Cheeto. But... Let me give you another look. This was two bucks for the bag. And I'm trying to focus that as much as possible. It's small. <laughs> but the flavor is really pretty decent on this. I mean, it's corn. And that's what these are kind of made out of anyway. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. If you guys have tried this already, give me a cheese emoji here in the chat. Maybe a thumbs up next to it if you liked it. I don't really have a lot to compare this to because I've had street corn in the past a long time ago. But it is tangy. It's got a little bit of a cheese back end. A little spicy. But it's tart at the same time. So I guess the tanginess is in there. And that says thumbs down. I kind of like these. I got to be honest, guys. These are actually not bad. And again, I'm trying to give you the focus here. I'm trying to focus it in. There you go. You can see the seasoning. It's done pretty well. And honestly, if this was just marketed as like a spicy Cheeto with something on here other than street corn, I would say, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty tasty. It almost feels like it's more lime up front. And then the tanginess and the tartness is there. And then the heat is coming in there as well, too. This is actually pretty nice. I got to admit, the more I'm actually eating these... The three or so that I have, that flavor is building up pretty nicely. Now, the only problem, as I'm finding, is they're not very big, though. It's basically very, very small versions of regular crunchy Cheetos. You know, but at the same time, the flavor is good. The flavor is pretty good. We got cheese emojis. We got thumbs up. Chicago Leg says, hi, idea. This is mixed with mayo, cheese, paprika, and lime. You got to take a look at the ingredients on this, but... It definitely says it's got sour cream, parmesan. Let's see here. Garlic powder, onion powder, skim milk, parmesan, romano cheese. That's where I'm getting it. It's, it's pungent. I mean, it's got a little bit of a pop to it. This is where I'd have a little pop emoji on the screen in my, in my reviews. But what I don't like is just the size. They're, they're really small. But they're good. I will finish this bag eventually. This is pretty good. Not bad. Overall score, 1 to 10 on this one. I'm going to say 8.2. Just above an 8. Not quite to the 8.5 mark. But at the same time, if these were a little bit bigger, the cheese is it's pungent. It's there. But you have to really kind of keep eating these to get that coating the way that you're expecting it there. So it's not heavy for each of them individually. But at the same time, it um satisfies. I mean, I'm getting that lime tartness. I love the marketing on the outside of it here which looks pretty cool. It says at the very top there, made with real cheese, spicy, cheesy, tangy at the same time. Not bad. 7 out of 10 for Annette. Eric Clark, Elizabeth, hey, thanks so much for jumping on. Critical says, I've heard that size doesn't matter. <laughs> for most things. But this is actually um, not bad. Like I said, guys, the flavor is pretty good. Definitely a specialty flavor. This is a pretty unique thing. I haven't seen any other type of chip company come out with anything along these lines. But it really kind of fits because literally almost all the snack chips out there are some type of cornmeal um, in effect here. Enriched cornmeal. It says it right here. It's got cornmeal. Let's see. For a sulfate, niacin. It's got all the usual stuff that we probably don't want to be putting in our body on a regular basis. But at the same time... It gets the job done. So 8.2, I mean, this really does kind of satisfy 
all of what they're advertising here, which is an important thing. So you've got the cheesy, you've got the spicy, you've got the tangy. Um, the pungentness of that cheese is pretty nice. And initially that lime is pretty nice as well. So I dig it. I definitely dig it. This is definitely a pretty nice situation, guys. A pretty nice situation. Mexican street corn. It's a first for me to try this um, naturally. And I do it here on the stream with you guys. But again, they're very small. That's the only thing. But there's a lot in the back. Over 60 something pieces. So not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Erna, I want to ask more 80s trivia if you don't mind. I don't mind. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it, Erna. Larry Nguyen says 8 out of 10 for, you, for him. Very nice. Very nice. Tony, it would be cool on some popcorn. Yes, I think all of those flavors would be good on popcorn. And naturally, it's corn, right? I mean, they could easily do that. They could easily do that. Sonic, do you like chili picante corn nuts with lime? Haven't tried those. Haven't tried those, Sonic. It's been a minute since I've had, actually, uh, corn nuts, to be honest. Ed Keaton says he has to give them a shot. I would absolutely recommend it. This was found at my local Walgreens for $1.99. Uh, right there, you can see it right there on the bottom. Um, they have a larger bag version of this, but I wanted to kind of taste it just to see. If I have the opportunity to, I'd rather get the smaller one just to try. But I could see myself getting the regular bag. I think the regular bag was like maybe a dollar and a half more. And that's naturally you're going to get a lot more of it, plus a lot more air in the bag as well. So it's all good. It's definitely all good. Johnny, that means the bag will last two months if you have one piece a day. <laughs> Very true. But who's going to do just one piece, Johnny? Who's going to do one piece? That's absolutely true. Plus, I don't think they would keep that long, even though that's probably heavily processed, too. The seal has been broken. The air is released. Um, so you'd probably want to get rid of that uh, bag in another couple of days or so, give or take. Let's see. Erna. Super chat donation. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who sang the soundtrack Highway to the Danger Zone? It's like Kenny Loggins from Top Gun. From what movie is it? What year? 1986. <laughs> Highway to the Danger Zone. Yes, absolutely. So there you go. Kenny Loggins, Top Gun, 1986. Maybe some prize if you get all three right. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. That is a present in and of itself. Just so you know, Erna, and everybody here in the chat, you already know what it is. Tony, you think the wifey would enjoy it? Yes, she likes street corn like this. So I have a feeling um, she'll dig it. I have a feeling she'll dig it. She should be home in about 15 or so minutes too, which is perfect timing because we're going to go out and probably get some dessert. It's been a long week, um, just a very long packed week of stuff. And, and aside from content creation and everything like that as well, um, I'm pretty tired. I got to be honest. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Uh, let's see. Johnny, I'm sure it'll become alive by then. Let's see. Wheat, uh, 96. Remember the Volcano Taco? Yes, absolutely. Actually, the Volcano Quesalupa um, is something that I reviewed as well on there. Those were awesome. Unfortunately, they just continued back in 2013. It's the first thing I ever talk about. I would love for them to bring back um, the Volcano Sauce over at Taco Bell. Taco Bell, if you're watching right now, if you're watching the uh, the video that I put out for your naked plant-based uh Naked Chalupa, if you happen to be catching this, bring back the volcano sauce, please. Please, please, please. And yes, James, I did see the Halloween 3 Easter egg in the new trailer. They did that actually in the original movie with the kids running around with the witch, the skull, and the pumpkin mask. That's a classic right there. So yeah, I'm, I'm always always down with those little uh, Easter eggs. They're very cool. Get ice cream for dessert, says e -Ricard. That's the goal, actually, to take a look and see what they've got since uh, Handles has opened up here locally in Pasadena. So I'm curious to try that. Drew, do you feel the need, the need for speed? Always. <laughs> Always. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. <laughs> uh, Ed Keaton can't wait for Top Gun Maverick. Me as well. Everything that was supposed to come out last year is being pushed to this year, naturally. And as long as it comes out, I'm, I'm so down with it. I'm so down with it. Looking forward to that. Also, the Doritos uh, Locos Taco Supreme. Absolutely. So it's one of the most successful products on their um, menu that they've removed um, naturally there because they're all into all the nachos, nacho fries, um, all that stuff there as well. Michael Donaire, did you hear that 7-Eleven is going to be doing free Slurpees all month next month? No, I had no idea. I mean, they have 7-Eleven Day, uh, which is July 11th, where you can go in there. But I'm not surprised. Um, that's th Those stores get worked over when they do those free things. So if they're doing that every day, uh, that's going to be interesting. I'll keep you posted on that, Mike. If I drive by and I see it's getting all thuggish at 7-Eleven with people trying to, to take all the supplies. 
We'll have to see. Let's see. Have I tried Santa Maria style barbecue? It's in Cali. I have not, Johnny. I have not. A lot of these places, once things are fully, uh, I mean, we do have everything pretty much fully open here, but it's like baby stepping back into society again with everything. Um, even though, you know, fully vaccination is there at the same time, you know, you want to be careful still. Um, but I haven't heard of that. It sounds like it'd be interesting though. But free Slurpees starting when, according to Annette Cervantes? Well, I know, like I said, 7-Eleven Day, which is June 11th, they do a free Slurpee. And I think you can bring your own cup they used to do, um, which was kind of cool. So I think I, there was like a lot of memes online with people walking in with wheelbarrows and stuff like that, too. Um, Chicago Log, they took away the Doritos Locos uh, tacos. I think that's only accessible on the app, if I'm not mistaken. I know that the Quesalupa is. Uh, not the Quesalupa, the Quesarito um, is. But I know that with um, with that one there, it's usually an online only thing to try and, you know, for people that use the app uh, for those things. And yes, E, I would feel for the workers at 7-Eleven as well. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? <laughs> Johnny, please review it. People love barbecue. You know, I love doing Dickie's barbecue uh, once in a while. So, But I'll take a look and see what this one is for sure. And I always love watching these streams back to kind of see what I may have missed in the chat sometimes because there's so much that I'm seeing here back and forth um, I try and get to. Yes, Scotty, Duncan has a strawberry poppin' boba now, I know. Del Taco really uh, kicked that off over here, and then Sonic did it, and now Duncan is doing it. So uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, but it was cool to see, uh, actually, Duncan um, jumping into that game there. And it makes sense for them to do that, of course, because of all the other refresher drinks they have. It's just a nice addition to it. Same with Sonic, because of all the slushies and all the dessert type of drinks. Um, but it was cool to see out of nowhere... Um, Del Taco jump with that. So I'd be I'd be surprised if Taco Bell didn't, because if you're starting to see it from all these other places, now they don't have to say, well, Del Taco did it, Taco Bell is gonna do it. It's gonna look like they copied each, each other or copied them. Now that with everybody doing it now, you've got different coffee places doing it. Um, it's cool to see that. It's cool to see that. So Michael Domer says July 1st. All right, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Nishino, I always I always wondered, because I never figured this out, do you usually keep your car on with the AC <laughs> while you're doing your reviews or your car off? For me, I keep it off because I like to make sure that the engine is not rumbling or even though I, you know, my everything is fine in my car, I don't like any of the vibration or the noise. So Nishino, this is what I've got. This is what I use in my car. And if you guys saw my thigh, my wing stop, thigh stop commercial, when I'm holding the chicken up at the window and you see the bottom of it kind of like flicking and shaking and kind of going like crazy like that. This is the reason why, because I have this sitting behind my phone when I'm filming because it's keeping things cool and it's keeping things cool in the car. I have the windows half cracked. Um, so this is what I'm using for ventilation uh, when I don't do that. A lot of people ask me, why don't you have the AC on? You know, when you're filming in the quote unquote mobile studio, you want complete silence if you can help it. Now, when you have the windows cracked, you have some noise anyway. But during the summer, this is a great thing to have. So. This is something that you can look into getting there. It's just a bit standard battery pack that I have in here, in over here. And it looks like we've got three out of four for power remaining. Um, but this is cool, a little Arctic light or Arctic fan, which is kind of cool. So that is the secret uh, for that. If you see anything kind of blowing in the car, if I'm pulling something up, that's the reason why. It's because I have the fan coming at me that way. Uh, let's see. Ali Rios, are you doing Sonic's Cheesecake Shake? No. I'm really not not on uh, not I don't want to say not on good terms with Sonic, but I have my luck with them is just not that great. That, that chicken po' boy, uh, we already have things on our app here locally that say it's not available because of just you know shortages in our area. Um, it, it's Sonic. I just think they need to kind of get it together just a little bit. At least here on the West Coast where I am, um, they're just the quality of it is kind of hit or miss. It kind of is what it is. It, it is what it is. So, but that's the reason. Uh, primarily that you don't see too many Sonic reviews once in a blue moon. But like I said, after the last one, it could have been my last one, possibly. Um, something has to be really amazing to make me want to go over and, and check something out over there because I'm always worried about what I'm going to get. So 7-Eleven collabing with Bang Energy Drink, exclusive flavor on the 28th. Nice, true, cool. I've seen about that for maybe for a stream, if anything. Uh, let's see. Sonic only gets his foods from Del Taco. Very cool. It's fresher. If you guys ever get things that are not on par, I'm hoping that you have an opportunity to take it back and have them make it right for you. That's the goal is to, you know, you're paying good money for stuff. Annette, you'll definitely catch me at your local 7-Eleven on July 1st. I'll be going for that double extra large Coke Slurpee. I'm down. I'm down with that as well. <laughs> Erna, does that fan help you stay cool? Yes, absolutely. It's got a nice breezy breeziness coming at me right now. Even when I'm doing my stuff in the car. Even when I'm doing stuff in the car. 
Uh, let's see. They have no more fossil fuel, Chicago is saying. So Dom and the gang go to Jurassic Park and get the dinosaurs and make the fuel. <laughs> it's a good times right there. It's good times. Uh, John Moore, James Morrison, do you have a big digital movie collection? Not nearly as much as my Blu-rays and DVDs behind me. <laughs> I'm still very much a collector with some things, uh, for sure. Have you seen it? Do you think you'll be giving the Grande Crunchwrap a try? I know you've reviewed the Spicy. I've actually already done the, the Spicy and the Triple Double, I believe it was, already, if I'm not mistaken, there on my channel. Uh, so I probably won't be doing that yet again, because that's the same product. Um, the Triple Double is the same, um, as well. It's just a rebranding with the name, uh, primarily. And yes, E, the name Sonic's Food is meh. I agree with that. <laughs> TL, Sonic Jet. I am Sonic Jet. The original Sonic's drive through is actually named after my family. That's awesome. <laughs> TL, how do you stay lean while eating fast food a few times per week? I only take about three or four bites out of whatever I review, and uh, I just keep it active. It's all about just staying active and trying to manage and not eating at night if you can help it. I know when I do my cheaters cam review, that's the only time. Technically, I am kind of cheating at night because I'm eating after hours, so to speak. Um, but it's all about balance. It's all about balance. Um, that's the main thing with that. I never get combos unless it's part of it just to kind of taste things um, like I did with the thighs combo that came with the fries. So you already know. Um, Bo Nishino jumping in with the super chat donations. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate that greatly. Official sponsor of the channel. And again, I will be checking out your review after the stream later tonight. I want to see what your thoughts are of those chicken wings, chicken thighs, I should say. There you go. Nishino's name and lights right over here. Former crazy tasty. Great to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Mike Lan, are you going to be doing Tommy's Chili Breakfast? It's fun. You're in my head right now because I was thinking about that very recent uh, for sure. Or Del Taco and Barstow. Uh, most likely, to probably Tommy's initially, Mike, just to be honest there. Because that's actually the next thing that I would like to check out from Tommy's after trying their chili cheeseburger as well as the chili fries, uh, which was really good. So that's uh, at some point I will be adding further to the uh, the Tommy's playlist for that. I keep getting a lot of requests actually for the breakfast, something for their breakfast stuff. And I'm kind of curious too, to be honest. Uh, when I can get to it is the other story. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, let's see. Tiffany Shields, what's your favorite obscure 80s teen comedy? Porky's. <laughs> I remember being a kid. That was one of the R-rated ones that I just wanted to go watch. And always a fan of Porky's. <laughs> there is some classic scenes in that. Classic scenes in that. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, look that one up. They actually had Porky's 2 the next day, I think it was called. Um, but the original Porky's is classic. They don't make movies like that anymore. They really don't. Um, and aside from Weird Science, you know, any of the John Hughes movies, anything like that. Uh, Howard the Duck, even back in the day, I'm going back in time. Uh, good times, uh, for sure with that. Let's see here. La Savant had the breakfast burrito from Tommy's last week. It's actually my favorite thing in the menu. Nice. That would be probably what I'd be checking out naturally as uh, one of the next things there. So we'll have to see. Yes. Erna love Goonies. Classic, 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 classic eighties goodness. And speaking of classic eighties goodness, I've got one more thing to show you a blast from the past from the eighties. Again, one more from masters of the universe for the wall. This one is the Lords of power edition of merman ocean warlord so he's got a little bit of a, an original design this was the original version of what he was supposed to look like um but they came out with a different variant so this is actually more of a limited run uh, for this one but again very cool stuff there the ruler of rakash merman orders the monsters of the sea the deep sea to, at the behest of skeletor so basically he's a right hand man for skeletor and he's just an evil dude from the sea uh, but again all those classic figures in over there new for 2021 they look awesome merman coming with his sword but his design is looking pretty cool they all come with these little comic books on the inside but really really awesome lop edition of merman here so another quickie for you for sure gotta love all this stuff i know it's a food review channel but i'm giving you a little bit of a taste of me reliving my childhood at the same time so we've got evil lynn and merman together in effect uh, I had King Hiss way back in the day, Tiffany, and I know that they're going to come out with him. Mech and Neck, I'm waiting for. Um, I still have to get Trap Jaw. That was my all-time favorite one, actually. They had Moss Man. Um, there's a bunch of really awesome ones that came later on. Erna, you know, 80s Merman, that's my thing. <laughs> 
Let's see. La Savant, when are you going to be going to review the Avengers Campus Food with the Wifey? You know, I can't wait to go back to Disney right now. And I plan to do it at some point, hopefully later this year. Um, I, I want a little bit more time to pass right now. Just because everything is open as of, Jan of June 15th doesn't mean that things miraculously disappear still. Um, so I still want to be very careful with it. But I definitely want to um, head on back and do some more of those. Because you guys already know I have a Disneyland playlist here on the channel with a bunch of different things from Disneyland. Um, that I'd love to add to because, uh, you know, I don't want it to be too old and not have something fairly recent. So that's the goal eventually once we get back on over there. Uh, Corey Hart, what was that? Do you have Max? Have you ever listened to Heart to Heart and Heart by Col Joel Corey featuring Emnek? No, I'm not sure about that one, actually. I thought you said Corey Hart at first. I remember Sunglasses at Night, I think it was uh, for sure. James Morrison, they only have He-Man and Skeletor. I know every time I see Target, those they are always flooded with their standard version of He-Man and Skeletor, and they're very rarely um, they don't have the other stuff. But I told you before, I came across the Rise of Evil two-pack, which as I showed last week, I believe, um, as well. They had six of those on the shelf, so they're starting to kind of trickle in there. Erna, definitely seen St. Elmo's Fire. That's a famous song, actually, too. Hello, fire. Do I like Korean hot pot? Korean hot dogs? I've never had, Chris, actually. Erna, when you said Skeletor, I thought you said Skeleton. <laughs> He's based on that. Sunglasses at Night by Corey Hart. Yep, I just said it right there. You already know. <laughs> Cena, have you seen her? Let's see here. The Brat Pack. The John Hughes Brat Pack. Anthony Michael Hall, he's been posting a lot of things. He has um, some new show coming out with Debbie Gibson, actually. That's another 80s uh, icon singer right there. Uh, coming out with something called The Class, I think it is. Never Surrender. Yes, that's a classic as well, Erna. <laughs> Ed Keaton saying, adios. Thanks so much, Ed. I appreciate you. And again, for the Super Chat donation, we're winding this one down here in about two minutes. Guys, this is a fast hour, actually. It really went by very quick tonight. So hopefully you guys like what you saw, you like what you heard, you like how the experience was. If you did, let me see a thumbs up here in the chat to let you, uh, I wanted to hopefully, you know, I'm doing my job right over here for you guys right now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying what you're seeing, but I hopefully what you got from this, you'd be able to take something positive away from. Um, again, you already know my love and support is right there for you guys always. I appreciate you, you guys make the channel go around as always. We got 53 amazing peeps currently watching right now as well. Jackie, it did go by fast. Seriously, it really does. And I don't really realize how sore my, my voice is until maybe about 15 or so minutes after when I'm kind of like relaxing slightly. And I really feel like, man, I was talking a lot, but um, it's good times. But yes, I appreciate that. Smash that like button. I appreciate that, Annette. Thank you so much. Uh, great to see you guys on here as always. Can't wait for the streams. I have a lot of fun doing these. As you know, every single week, they're really kind of like the capper to cap off the week for me. Um, and I enjoy it at the same time. I've been trying to get back to answering a few comments uh, on my videos here. And there's a lot of content currently in post um, and a lot of things coming at the same time. Um, but it's definitely a good thing um, to spend a little bit of time with you guys on a Friday night at the same time as well, too, that way. So and I enjoy it and it gives me a chance to kind of connect with you guys one on one. Um, that's the whole point of these live streams. And like I've said before, I, as a creator, it's important to connect with your audience in some way, shape, or form. And the live stream platform is such an awesome way to do that um, as well. La Savon, excited for Creed 3. Yes, me too. Michael B. Jordan's going to be directing it uh, as well. Love the Rocky movies. It's going to be pretty awesome, I think, as well. Pretty awesome. I'm going to be excited to see that. Larry Nguyen, do you know if the Arcadia Monrovia is going to bring back the food fair? I'm sure at some point... Um, I'm looking forward to getting back to a little bit of normalcy like that as well, too. Believe me, uh, I can't wait for that. Annette Cervantes, Free Britney, yes. That whole conservatorship, 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 I think it's called. Um, she's dealing with some drama right now. We all know she's, she's dealing with some drama. So good times in effect for you guys. So guys, we're one week away, a little over from the 4th of July. It's crazy to think about um, holiday weekend that's going to be coming next week. Um, we're winding down June already. It's been a huge month of content, a lot of really fun stuff coming in there. You guys also know July is officially the beginning of the Halloween season. That's when you're going to start seeing a lot of the things coming back into the stores. That's that's literally, and I say this, this is the season where I, I come alive because I love Halloween. It's my all-time favorite time of the year. Um, and I'm, even though I'm born in September, you know, Halloween is like an extended birthday present for me a month later. Um, I so love the holiday 
Um, cause I love all that stuff as a kid. I love horror. I love all that, you know, ghosts and scary stuff and, and it's awesome. So July, you're going to see a lot of cool things that are going to be coming out. Um, naturally Halloween kills coming in the theaters on October 15th. Um, it's going to be amazing. All the stuff that's going to be flooding the stores for candy and the, and all the decorations and all the fun stuff. And, you know, just considering how crazy it was last Halloween, just not being able to really do anything. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Johnny, which question are you asking me? <laughs> which question are you asking me here? Let's see here. Remember what movie? Time Bandits. Yes, I remember. Absolutely. I remember that. That's a classic film right there. And yes, Sonic is uh, definitely prayer hands for uh, for what happened in uh, in Miami. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's uh, scary to think about just uh, a condominium building like that just literally collapsing but scary very scary stuff for sure very good stuff very good stuff uh let's see good times good times indeed so going in there again so just so you guys know hang on one second here all right people asking me here okay the wifey <laughs> yes we're going to be doing some ice cream very very soon absolutely that and that come down to san diego fair you know comic-con definitely does that for sure i definitely would like to uh i would like to go to comic-con to be honest with you let's see here is taiwan a country of east asia stay safe as well absolutely Let's see, do I watch the NBA playoffs or the Stanley Cup playoffs? Randy Molina, I don't. Actually, I don't. No, 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 no. Um, believe me, my uh, TV watching is relegated to like online stuff, you know, when I can late at night. Um, usually that stuff I usually watch on the fly. <laughs> e, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Um, I think cookies and cream and like standard chocolate. Believe me, believe it or not, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy like that. But cookies and cream is always banging. But... I'm here in E. They actually have over at Handles, which is where we're going to be going. Um, they have an horchata uh, situation there. So I'm very curious to know um, how that's going to be, because I just I love the idea of cinnamon in there as well. Johnny, yay, I'm not owned by yes. <laughs> Come on now, I'm not getting involved with that controversy, but, you know, I feel bad for uh, for John Cena <laughs> for, that, for that the misquote at the same time. Sweet dreams are made of these Eurythmics. You already know what it is. Absolutely. Erna knows what sun that is. You already know. Chocolate chip ice cream also for Erna. Awesome. Flying Hippo 5000. Can you give a shout out to my daughter, Nora? She is two months old and we love to watch your videos. Oh, that's awesome. Nora, thanks so much for peeping this out tonight. And thanks for being a fan of the show. At least for, for mom and dad <laughs> who are letting you watch this right now. Um, but that's awesome. I appreciate that. Shout outs to Nora right over here. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love that avatar too, right there. Flying Hippo 5000. That's awesome. Good times. Good times. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to jump on over real quick. E. Ricard likes butter pecan. That's actually not bad. I've had that before. That's not bad, E. 1983 from Eurythmics, I think it was, Erna, from back in the day. Uh, let's see, WCK619, San Diego. Cheesecake and ice cream is a lovely situation. Actually, cheesecake, that's not cheesecake for me. If it's chocolate cake at Cheesecake Factory, that's a lovely situation in effect as well. Critical, doing some ice cream, got to stay frosty. You already know what it is, especially with the heat going on right now. Paul, it's craziness at the same time. But thankfully, you know, we've got things to kind of keep us cool, <laughs> which is kind of nice at the same time. All right, guys, so shout outs to each and every one of you. You guys will have this replay available to you on Saturday. Uh, next review will most likely be on Monday, um, Monday or Tuesday, depending there. This has been a, a very packed week at the same time. Um, and actually, a couple of impromptus that are in there as well, too. That The Wendy's one was an impromptu quickie um, to there, too. So to there, too. I just said that quickly. Um, so naturally, you have some stuff to look forward to as well. And uh, have you seen it? Have you seen the movie A Time to Kill? I haven't seen that, but I know the movie. That's an oldie, though. I know that for sure. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another stream yet again to all the amazing mods here in the house, all my Blue Wrench peeps that are here that you guys can see. 
Um, thank you so much for doing what you do as always. Jump on over to all the content creators that you've seen uh, here in the chat. Of course, Jackie Hero Food Reviews, Drew's Food Reviews. We have obviously uh, Critical Eats Japan in effect with an awesome burger series that every time I see those on Twitter, getting retweeted instantly. Um, amazing stuff. Really, really awesome stuff. I love the camera work. I love the stuff that, that Paul does over on that channel. Um, Critical East Japan, definitely uh, one of the one of the professional peeps in the game and uh, having a lot of fun doing the do. Plus, it's also cool seeing how things are done overseas and the way that they do them, um, which is awesome. Plus, it's a stand up guy at the same time, so which is really awesome. So shout out to each and every one of you guys. Ed Keaton, thank you so much again to all the amazing peeps. Nishino, also another awesome food reviewer. Take a look at the channel for Nishino. Do a search online. Um, there's a lot of really fun stuff from uh, Nishino as well. X Crazy Tasty, of course, if he's still watching, you already know what it is. Sonic Jet likes uh, cherry vanilla ice cream. I'm down with that. That's not a bad situation. Absolutely. Once in a blue moon. I got to watch it, though, with some of the lactose, though. That's the only thing. I got to really balance this at the same time um, in there as well. But again, to all the amazing uh, foodie community peeps that are in effect who may be just watching right now, as well as being here in the chat, making themselves known, you guys know who you are. I love each and every one of you guys. Keep doing what you do. Keep putting out that content. Things are getting a lot better for everybody across the board. Um, and it's a matter of just doing the right thing um, as much as possible. Walk the straight and narrow and just keep focusing on your dreams. Keep focusing on what you need to do to move yourself forward. Um, that's the best advice I can give anybody who's aspiring to do these types of things or who may have been doing it for so long and may be looking for a reason to continue. Um, think about everything that you've accomplished up to this point because everything that you've done so far is prologue to this very moment right now. So what's that old saying? And I think I say this on occasionally. Um, Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. So focus on what you can to the, the best of your ability. We've all got the same amount of hours every single day to make it work. Um, and naturally, it's always great seeing everybody pump out the content and do what they do. And I think I've answered everybody's direct DM about the plant-based Naked Chalupa. Um, I was getting bombed in my DMs to go check that out, naturally, because a lot of most of all of you know I live here in Southern California. And the, so the, the actual direct um, headquarters from Taco Bell um, was about maybe 25 minutes from where I filmed that one in Irvine. Um, so they do a lot of the testing around there. And for those of you Eagle Eye viewers, you may recognize an older test market video from Taco Bell I did back in the day for the Forbidden Bowl, which you can find actually in my um, Taco Bell Reviews playlist, uh, playlist that's in there. So take a look for the Forbidden Bowl. That was the same location that I filmed that review as well that did this one for the plant-based taco, 2222 Barranca Parkway in Irvine. Um, and I have that information in the video in the description as well as the phone number um, if you guys wanted to uh, give them a call because <laughs> you want to check it out. Uh, good times in there as well. Let's see who else we got the last couple of things on here. For those of you guys who are still in the chat right now, Sonic Jet is saying good uh, welcome to Annette, to everybody here. Too random. I just saw something that jumped up over here about food review content. My chat is not matching up with what I'm seeing over here right now. No more chicken sandwiches. Yes, I'm kind of tired of chicken sandwiches, Tony. <laughs> you already know what it is. Um, but to all of you guys out here right now, thank you so much for doing what you do again. Let me jump on over here one more time. It'll be cool if you went to Taco Bell headquarters in Irvine for a tour. Yes, it would. And I'd love to do that. I'd love to go to their test kitchen. That'd be fun uh, to take a look at stuff. One of my favorite things from Conan, who just actually completed his late night show on TBS, um, is the video of him taking one of his um, interns or his people that worked for him at the time to Irvine to Taco Bell because the guy was a huge Taco Bell fan. Um, so yes, I would love to, uh, actually see that test kitchen at some point. That would be kind of cool, uh, at the same time. So guys, to everybody here, hopefully I tried to address as many comments and questions in the chat as I could for you guys here. Of course, I'll be going back to kind of rewatch to see if there's anything that stuck out. Um, but again, thank you so much for doing the do, uh, being on here right now for everybody. That's the official sponsors of the stream this week. You guys are going to be listed in the description box below. You probably know that already because you're seeing it down below. Um, but again, thank you so much for your love and support um, and for what you do uh, for the community by being here. Because without an audience, it's me just with my passion creating the stuff that I do, which I love to do. But I love having you guys um, enjoy the stuff that I'm putting out there. So thank you so much for that. Erna, I appreciate the, the, the kind words. You guys are the best. Every single one of you, you already know what it is. My amazing mods for putting it down. We have an amazing community here on the channel. It's ultra positive. Um, and everybody is welcome uh, naturally as well, too. So good times uh, as well for everyone. Have an amazing weekend. And as I come back on over to where I need to be, there we go. We lock it in. 
And here it is. With that, this is ENK closing out the live stream for June 25th, 2021. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Good times this weekend, guys. Thank you so much for staying on and for everyone for being here right now. We got about 40 plus people, currently 39-ish or so. Um, again, the replay will be up Saturday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to relive anything that you'd like to re-see uh, from the stream. Naturally, it'll be available as an official review on the channel. Always locked in along with everything else that's out there right now. So whatever you do this weekend, do it safely. Have fun. Be safe. Uh, and I will definitely catch you on the next stream. So guys, like I said, a little over a week from now, uh, 4th of July here in the U.S. is pretty crazy. Critical, thanks so much uh, for uh, for jumping on again there for all of you guys um shout outs to you and to everybody else here in the chat i'll try and stay in the chat as long as i can until it times out when the stream ends so uh for jay nepper if you're catching this on the replay uh this last bit is always going to be for you i appreciate you greatly and with that i'm out peace